air fryer supremacy? The first thing that pops into your mind hearing this is, well, obviously a healthy meal. And that's where the debate starts. Do air fried foods really taste fried? But with time, one name revolutionized the air fryer world. And that's Ninja. And it has become the talk of the town. How Ninja has concluded all the claims of tasteless air fried food. But with Philips air fryer available on the market, how did Ninja come into the spotlight? Is it overhyped? Or are there better options in a more affordable range? Well, let's uncover the highs and lows of the Ninja air fryer and figure out whether its hefty price tag is truly justified or not. Let's be real. Whenever we ask for an air fryer recommendation, 8 out of 10 suggest Ninja. Even those who don't own an air fryer also recommend the Ninja. Why? Isn't it like trusting a brand blindly? Well, there is no denying that Ninja is a choice of many households, as we've owned a Ninja blender for over 3 years and still use it. We took a chance with the air fryer. Though our Ninja AF101 air fryer is only 98 days old, not sure whether it'll make our expectations of longevity or not. As far as appearance is concerned, it looked pretty standard with a basket like most other air fryers. It may have a smaller basket size, but it claims to cook with lightning speed. So, that's something to verify. Well, it was able to deliver crispy wings and fried chicken within just 10 minutes, so no lies about its swiftness. But the size. It clearly shows that air fryer is designed for two to three people. If anyone wants to get this for a large family, it's better not to go for it. About the round shape, we wish the tray had a square shape so that it could reheat a whole pizza. That didn't stop us from reheating in slices though. The result was surprisingly satisfactory. Good job saving our leftover pizza from the microwave, Ninja! Now, back to its cooking performance. We decided to go all out and make some hot wings. Genius move, right? The first batch turned out fantastic, even better than fried because they were extra crispy. But the problem arose when we kept palm fret in it. Yes, this is when Ninja couldn't meet our expectations. Our fresh palm fret turned into an overbaked piece of fish with a chewy texture, which we didn't like at all. As a result, we decided to make our favorite grilled palm fret in a regular pan instead of the air fryer. Otherwise, it performed well for crispy catfish, garlic salmon, and baked wally. But what about the regular air fry recipes? Well, in terms of french fries, wedges, and chicken nuggets, we tasted the crispy texture as if it was deep fried. However, the million dollar question still remains stuck at $100. Before rolling your eyes, let's compare through the window of the internet. And look, you'll find plenty of air fryer choices with larger capacities and more cooking options. And guess what? They're offering it at a bargain price, even lower than Ninja. Yes, they're not widely popular but still perform great in any kitchen setting. So, if you actually don't care for a prominent brand, better go for any of them. Let's come to the final point. When it comes to air fryers, the Ninja air fryer is often the go-to recommendation. It's a timeless choice with a reputation for durability. Just like their trusty blenders and coffee makers. With lightning fast cooking and irresistibly crispy results. It impresses in most areas. Although its smaller size is ideal for couples or small families, but not for the crowd. Plus, if you're on a budget, there are other air fryers out there with larger capacities and similar performance. All at a more affordable price. So, now the decision is yours. What do you prefer? A reliable brand or affordable one for your cooking needs? So, that's all for our video about the Ninja Air Fryer review. If you enjoyed our video and found it helpful, please hit the like button, comment and share this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this on your feed.